it's on 93 boxing i'm back with a quick video Kelbrook fans have gone on to say that um amir khan is pricing himself out because he doesn't want the fight hence he gave a 70 30 split which is apparently ridiculous in the eyes of many 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 Kelbrook fans Kelbrook would have got his biggest payday i know so so would khan but not with a 50 50 split or a 60 40 70 30 split would be uh, more fair but um Kelbrook would have made his biggest payday with that split. Now it's important to understand that Kelbrook, this is a guy who's said, I am willing to take like uh, cut one of my legs off so I can make the weight for the American fight. He said that, didn't he? Seems so eager to fight Amir Khan. He was so eager to fight Amir Khan, he was calling out Khan when Khan was at 140. Believe that shit. It's Kelbrook, you know? That's Kelbrook, that's what he does. You got all these fighters in the world, but no, you want to fight Amir Khan. You seem so eager. I wonder why you don't want to fight anyone else. Because none of, them, none of them are big names that will come to the UK and fight you. Because they don't know you. And because you don't want to get out of Sheffield. Actually, like, yeah, I, I give you credit for fighting in London and other, sh other places. But, you know, you rarely want to go in America. You don't have a name in America, pretty much. And... Considering all of that, it's actually a fair offer. Considering, actually, I haven't said all of that, you know, I haven't even said, look, he had, Kelbro can't even offer a title. That title should be stripped if he um, takes the Khan fight. I think Kelbro is willing to, willing to do that. You know, if he gets an offer, like a really, really big offer, a big money that he really doesn't deserve, he's willing to keep that title, he's willing to, sorry, um, vacate that title, you know why? Because Kelbrook is keeping that title, hoping he gets that May Khan fight, and hoping he can use that title as a negotiation powers. And you can see fans are now saying, oh yeah, he's the champion, and he was undefeated apart from Golovkin. Khan has three losses, and he's not a champion at welterweight. See, Kelbrook's biggest leverage is that title. If that title's taken off him before the fight, before the negotiations, because you know, sometimes what fighters can do is um, they can vacate the title after the negotiations. Or they can be stripped right after the negotiation. They can use the title for, for the negotiations for the purse split. Kelbrook can't offer a title. He doesn't have a resume. Nothing. Just he's a, What has he got to offer? And someone actually said on Twitter, your uh, resume doesn't matter. Something like that. Like he, he, I'm paraphrasing what he said. He's, you know, and he's a Kelbrook fan. He's got to be the biggest joke that he pulled out with. Absolute joke. Rubbish. And tell me that that title is... That title's pretty much worthless, so I don't want to hear title, this title, that, okay? Kelbrook's title is worthless, number one. Because that title, yeah, he's been for Sean Porter, but it was a very close fight, which I believe Kelbrook won, but it was a close fight. But let's give the give him the credit, and to be honest, Sean Porter was never, in my opinion, uh, the elite fighter that people think he was, but let's gi give him the benefit of the doubt that Sean Porter is a elite fighter, and Kelbrook beat him very, 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 easily now okay what was the next defense next defense jojo dan then kevin busier and so then frankie gavin and kevin busier i'm actually giving kelbrook a lot of respect <laughs> for trying to get those names in order but you know kelbrook doesn't deserve no respect when it comes to his resume <laughs> you know so you know that's the thing those are his uh, last, so and he has Golovkin as well, those are his last four fights. American's last four fights are Luis Colazo, Devon Alexander, Chris, Chris Algieri and uh, Canelo. All um, champions slash former world champions. You can't say that about Kel Brook. You really can't. And then, to be honest, as I said, let's take that into consideration that Sean Porter did that. Um... Let's, let's take I mean let's take that into consideration the Sean Porter was beat very easily, which he actually really wasn't. If anything, American had more convincing wins. He didn't fight a Sean Porter. But he, whoever he beat was just a bit below Sean Porter in terms of um skills, like in terms of ability. And but you know American um, beat them very easily. So you have to take all of that into consideration and see the only win that Kelbrook has is Sean Porter. And it's been a while. Right? And he ha doesn't have any other notable wins on his resume. Sanchenko's not a notable win. Matthew Hatton's not a notable win. 
if you think it is, you're probably from the UK and very deluded. And I'm from the UK, so don't take it as a prejudice shit because I'm just being honest on what I see. He can't offer that. And in the, let's take into consideration that if... I'm not trying to make excuses for Khan. But he was fasting before the press call fight. I'm really not making excuses. He doesn't pay me for shit. He doesn't pay me a single penny. All that help that he's done for many people. I appreciate the fact that he's done for many people. But he doesn't help. He doesn't give me no millions. He doesn't give me nothing. Not a single penny. So I'm not trying to like. If I'm defending him. I'm actually being honest. Like literally. I'm actually giving my honest opinion. Who deserves to be defended. Not who deserve to be dependent based on the money they're giving me because none of them none of them are giving me shit. Amir Khan was fasting at the age of 21. I don't know if he was fasting on the day of the fight, but the day before the fights, like all the days before the fights, I'm very sure he was fasting. He was definitely fasting the few days before the fights. And I challenge anyone to do that and then go about, you know, just going in there in a boxing ring uh, wearing professional gloves. The gloves that are used in professional boxing go against a uh, puncher and you know Prescott at 135 was a puncher 17 knockouts 19 fights he was a he was definitely a puncher and tell me if you don't get knocked out because you know what let me um like remind me who Kelbrook was fighting at that age which will be interesting to see Garcia is a puncher he knocked out Morales um dropped him with one shot multiple times Maidana couldn't do that you tell me again, uh, has Kelbrook ever for, ever defended his title against someone like a Garcia, someone of that caliber? No, he hasn't. So you, again, take all of that into consideration. What has Kelbrook really done? And how do you know if Kelbrook never faced these type of oppositions, he wouldn't get beat? Kelbrook already suffered a knockdown a long time ago. I can't remember. Yeah, it was a bit of a flash knockdown, but he almost got knocked the fuck out. Like... It was uh, actually not knock the fuck up, but it was like a little little punch. It wasn't really a thing, but Kelbrook kind of got way off balance. Or we can say it's an off balance shot, but Connor's laws of knockdowns that was uh, off balance as well. You know, we can we can make all that excuse and shit. But also like the Canelo, Canelo knockout. You know, Kel Kelbrook's giving this picture. Oh, I, w I was confused with you with you and this guy, and it was Amir Khan laying down against Canelo. Kelbrook will suffer the same shit. He's so deluded, and British, so the British fa uh, boxing fans, so fucking deluded. Unbelievable. Some of the British boxing fans comes out with right nonsense. Kelbrook's, um, on the whole, you do an average of all the, you take a, I'm fairly sure you do mean average of all the f opponents he faced, it will have more losses. The mean average of the rec of their records, of their wins and of their losses, and they they will have more losses than wins. I can assure you that. Uh, even now. And he actually uh, stepped up his competition. Over in the last five fights. Even take away the Sean Porter and Golovkin. He's actually stepped up in competition because he's not fighting guys with losing records. But they're still bums. That tells you about Kelbrook. He doesn't bring... He's not a huge name. He doesn't bring much to the table. He doesn't. He can't even bring a title to the table. Even if he did, he still deserves 70-30. Because again, titles don't mean shit. That title's worthless. It's been through no defenses. No legit defenses. Hence, it's worthless. Again, his biggest payday was less than the, what American was offering. What does he bring to the table? Nothing. Undefeated records don't mean shit. I can be undefeated fighting little, like, a hundred of these um, five-year-old, ten-year-old average kids. Be undefeated with all knockouts. If Khan fought uh, Jojo Dan, he would knock um, them out as well. Don't go around saying oh, he has no power. If you can hurt Luis Colazo, for you do those who don't know boxing, Luis Colazo is very hard to hurt and very hard to drop. Khan dropped him with one shot, right? And I'm not saying he's a knockout artist, but I'm fairly sure Khan will get a stoppage on these Kevin Bizier, Jojo Dan, and Frankie Gavin. I was shocked at one point where American and Kelbrook's knockout ratio was very similar. Kelbrook kind of edged it with a knockout ratio now because... Um, he has a bit more knockouts. But of who though? He doesn't bring much to the table. And that's the reason why he can't even bring a title to the table. Undefeated record, as I said, don't mean shit. 
Manny Pacquiao is not undefeated. So what? What does that mean? Oh, I mean that's the that's the honest truth. Manny Pacquiao is not undefeated. Undefeated. You gonna seriously tell me that Manny Pacquiao? Um, ha ha ha! He got knocked out by Marquez. He got knocked out when he was sixteen or seventeen by some bum twice. Is that what you're gonna say? You can't say that. Kelbrook hasn't got shit on the. Technically, Kelbrook's record is in a way better because Kelbrook's um has less knockout losses, less losses. Period. But you wanna seriously say that Manny Pac Kelbrook's done more than Manny Pacquiao? No. That's really all I have to say, man. I'm SL93 boxing. I'm out.